Hey, what's up? This is Jerry Roush from Glass Cloud, and you're watching Rock Forever Magazine. Hey, guys, it's Tori from Rock Forever Magazine, and I am here right now with Jerry from Glass Cloud. How are you today? Doing good. Just as hot as hell here in uh, Orlando. It is. And uh, we just ate pita pit, so I can't complain. Yeah, no complaints about that. Just like the best place ever yep. to eat. Right so. around the corner, too. Convenient. And that was just a plug, so now they have to sponsor us, basically. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we wouldn't mind that. Um, no, but we got to talk about your music a little bit now that we're done with Pita Pit. Um, if you guys had to come up with a mission statement of overall what it is you want to accomplish through your music, what would it be? Mm, we just like to have fun. Uh, and we wanted to write some songs and be a band that wasn't as, uh, I guess, recycled and regurgitated than a lot of the bands in the scene are these days um and uh just to have a good time really i mean we just are all smiles and we're playing because that's the best part of our day is yeah. playing music and so there's no no real uh hey save the whales type thing but it's uh <laughs> you know we just try to hang and yeah. have fun i don't think it's always necessary to have some heavy mission statement i mean if you're enjoying yeah, what you're doing yeah, that's I mean, the most important thing it just it comes natural i guess to just we want to write songs and we're just fortunate that people want to listen to it <laughs> yeah and you guys just released the perfect war forever ep a few months mm -hmm. ago what's the significance behind the title um it was just uh basically most of that's how life is you know it's a perfect war forever it's just that's it's never you're never going to stop war and uh and it seems like it's put together in, in in a sort of situation where it's not like uh not saying perfect meaning the literal like meaning of the word perfect but mm -hmm. uh it's just uh i feel like uh there's just I don't, I don't know it's not too much of a deep thing there either just perfect yeah. war forever yeah pretty self-explanatory i suppose yeah, yeah. um but for anybody who hasn't heard your music yet or doesn't know too much about the band if they could listen to one song from the ep as a first impression which one should it be and why um the ep we we did just because it's an ep we only did five songs on it just because our first record was really melodic and also heavy um like really heavy my guitarist plays the eight string guitar on that but we went up to a nine string guitar on the uh on the ep and we wanted to just do something that's just like really really tough and heavy um uh, my favorite track on it would probably be uh trap like rats which is the opening track on it um um, I don't sing on that track, but there's there's a couple of uh, songs that I do do a little bit of singing on it, and um, so I don't know if you if you listen to that at first, you might think that we're just like a really heavy band, but um, our first record I'm singing all over it and stuff, so it's a lot yeah. different. And I, I think it, in this scene of music, it could be really easy to be just a generic band with the same breakdowns every song, you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah. I think you guys are keeping it really unique. Yeah. Um, so what is it that through your music you're adding to the scene that we don't have already? What are you contributing as a band, do you think? Uh, I don't, truthfully, I don't think there's much that are, isn't out there. Everybody's in a band these days, you know? Everybody, <laughs> it, it's how it goes. So yeah, um, Maybe I'm in a band. Yeah, no, I mean, who knows? <laughs> if you have a MacBook, then you're probably in a band. Uh, well, That's basically yeah. how it goes. But, uh... Um, as, as far as trying not to sound like, I mean, I, I was in some other bands before this band and one of them was more of the generic side of, of music and it's just, to me, it's just lacks, I don't know, passion. And so with this stuff, um, it's basically my guitarist, Josh Travis. I like the stuff he writes. He was in a band called Tony Danza, Tap Dance Extravaganza, mm -hmm. that their third record and fourth record that he did, I was a huge fan of. And I was like, this dude is a genius at writing guitar parts that aren't just simple chuggy breakdown stuff and um i wanted to add my little two cents onto that but uh yeah. as far as bringing something to the scene we're just trying to show them that you don't have have to be doing the same type of stuff that your favorite band is you know we, we try to just stray from that path a little bit but um still be able to hook the people in to like it can't be too far out otherwise <laughs> uh no one gets it you know so <laughs> right. Yeah, there's definitely a boundary there before it gets too weird. Yeah. Um, but you, are you guys thinking about releasing a full-length album? Is there anything in the works right now? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We're 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 doing we're gonna do, we're gonna do a full-length next. Hopefully, shoot like 13, 15 tracks on it. Awesome. Um, we're after this tour, we're gonna start like heavy writing for. We have ideas floating around and stuff, but uh, after this tour, we're gonna do a lot of writing and then uh, see what happens with this summer tour that we're planning. And then if not, we're gonna. Um, bust that out but it might be I mean it takes it takes a, it's a bit of a process it's not like we just record it and put it out the next day so uh, I wouldn't be expecting it next month or anything but late this year maybe early next year come yeah. out 
Um, so how are you thinking it's going to compare to the EP? Is it going to be the same sort of stuff we're hearing now? No, no. no. I mean, the EP was, like I said, just a, like that's the whole pur purpose of an EP is just to show a different bit of a feel and style. And um, we wanted to just go retardedly heavy on that. And <laughs> uh, so, so we did. But... Um, I mean, I can't really give you the honest truth of how it's going to sound because it's not written yet. But um, I would like it to be a mixture of the both. Really heavy, but also have a lot of really catchy choruses and melodies and stuff like that in it. Um, but who knows? It might be a rap verse in it somewhere. You never know. Hey, I think that would be jamming. That would yeah. be awesome. <laughs> um, no, but <laughs> And, well, I know you can't give us more details on it right now, but I am excited for what's to come for you guys for sure. <laughs> um, and you guys are on a tour with Let Live, Architects, and I the Mighty right now, which mm -hmm. is a pretty awesome some lineup yeah. so how have the bands uh been with you guys like how have the vibes been on this tour vibes are super high um we uh pretty much knew everybody getting into it like a, a couple of the guys in, in in uh my band were actually on tour with architects in the summer right. and shared a bus with them on warp tour um so they knew each other there and i knew um the, the drummer of let live i've known for years and uh, met jason and, and their tour manager a few times before the tour and we were just fans of that band as as as, as a whole and uh i the mighty guys are on our same record label so we're familiar with them um everybody's just super fun and positive no, there's there's no sort of anybody being a rock star on this tour or anything like that um but yeah, I mean, I can't complain. The shows have mostly been sold out, and yeah. the crowds have been bonkers. So, works for us. Works for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Has there been a favorite moment of the tour so far, for you? Um, uh, last night was pretty awesome in Atlanta because, like Monsta Flames, had a day off from their tour that they're on, so they were there. And then our buddy Tyler Carter from Issues came out, and then my buddy Hans came out. Um, couple of dudes from Era were out. It was crazy. It was just like, I showed up to the venue and like, it was like so many homies were there. And I was just like, what? This is, Reunion. yeah, yeah, it was, it was crazy. And then that also randomly happened in, in Detroit. We were playing a venue in Detroit mm -hmm. and so was uh, Bless the Fall, oh. um, Silverstein and, um, and, uh, Shit, who else Amity was there? Affliction? Affliction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so um, those are all of our dudes. So it was like they were playing like two miles away from us. We were happening to be playing at a bowling alley. Um, well, downstairs was a bowling alley. The upstairs was the venue. And they let you bowl for free if you're in a band. So we were like, yo, we're all on tour. Let's just get the whole bowling alley. And then so we all were just like, y'all come over here afterwards. And um, that's the whole, that's, I like that more of tour, just being able to hang out with my friends that uh, I don't get to see all the time. Like guys in bands. Like that's like the best part of my day, especially when I'm off tour. Like, I'm bored and friends happen to be coming through. I'm like, oh, cool. I get to go out and have some genuine hugs with my friends, you know? That's that's what touring does. It makes a lot of people just become good friends for life. And so it was cool to be able to hang out with all the random people yesterday and in Detroit. Those were the best on this tour. But every show has been crazy. Tonight's already sold out. Mm -hmm. I, I, I know it's going to be crazy here. The back booth never lets down. In Orlando, we always do well here. So, I mean, I know tonight's going to be fun, so... Sounds good. Mm -hmm. You guys make it sound like tour life is so much fun, but I know it is a lot of work as well. Oh, yeah, super it's a stressful. hustle. Yeah. Um, so what keeps you motivated during you know difficult times or when things get rough on the road? Just knowing that the next day I'm going to be on that stage and, and no matter how shitty my day might be going or stuff is or the 35-hour drive we have to do to get mm -hmm. here or whatever that is, that it's all going to pay off when I'm on stage and seeing these kids that are just like, yes, <laughs> like they're, it's to, to, to them. I mean, some of them are in tears and stuff so it's like that's what the payoff is right there to me so i always know like well tomorrow's gonna be a better day it doesn't matter what's going on right now in in here i'm out here doing my grind and it's you know as long as one kid in the crowd digs it then then uh I, I support it. Yeah, I mean, you're definitely making these fans' days, you know, with your, yeah, you know, half-hour so. set or whatever right. it is. Yeah, and um, this tour's going good so far, but what are the plans for right after this for you guys? Um, we're working on a summer plan uh, tour right now. Right. Um, can't, I, I know who it's with and, and all that, but no I, details. yeah, I can't, <laughs> I, I would get my head cut off my publicist if, if I were to say who, who it's with, but um, yeah, we're not doing like warp Tour or anything like that, but it's just going to be writing and, uh, and recording, hopefully, and than that summer tour. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for hanging out. This Anytime. has been awesome. Everybody mm -hmm. watching, make sure you check out Glass Cloud Perfect War Forever EPs on iTunes now. Yep. Subscribe for more interviews, and I'll see you next time. Bye.